In this video, I'm gonna show you how to go from this to this. Welcome back to the channel, guys. What we're gonna be building today is called a bird box or gable return. There's so many names for it, but more or less, you need a place to nail your soffit and a place for your soffit to come down and return to your fascia. So again, bird box, gable return, whatever you wanna call it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get up here on a ladder and show you the first thing to do. If you're new to this channel, my name's Josh. This channel's all about building your own house, saving a ton of money. So be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you get a notification every time I release a new video and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm to promote this video. Just like anything else in construction, there's probably a hundred different ways at least to build one of these bird boxes. So if you have a technique that works for you, just stick with it. This is the technique I've found that works the best. And not only is it the fastest, but it's also the strongest method that I've found. So if you have one that works for you, stick with it. I've actually seen people build these using just channel, but I wouldn't recommend that. All right, just give you an idea of how that works. It goes against your fascia, and this part's flat against the house, and it'll make a mark right at the top of the framing square. And then do the same on this side, and then just draw your line across like that. That's going to be our level line with the edge of this fascia. And also, you can use a level to level from this edge to the wall, so whichever way you prefer, but the square is a little easier. Now what you want to do is measure from the edge here, from the end truss, down to that mark. So we know we don't want this piece to be thicker than about 5 inches. So if you come over here, about the same thing, 5 inches will work pretty easy. Gives me plenty of room there to miss the truss. So now we're going to take a 2 by 10 and rip this side down to 5 inches. So the next thing we need to measure is the distance between the edge of this fascia over to where it hits that wall so it looks like we got about 10 and 3 quarter so we'll just go ahead and allow 10 and a half that way we don't have to fight it because it doesn't have to be tight in there so long story short what we're going to do is take a 2 by 10 rip it down to 5 inches come over and don't have it ripped down at all and it's going to run up inside of this part where the fascia and uh, soffit's going to hit and then it's going to screw into the side of this. It's going to make a nice strong bird box. So let's go get that cut so you can better understand what I'm talking about. All right, we got that piece cut. And just so you understand, this is the part that goes under the gable overhang. And this is the part that goes where we just made that mark. So now all we got to do is go up there, put this bottom edge on that line, and butt this up to the fascia on the gable side and nail it in. The nails I'm going to be using to fasten this to the side of the house are three inch framing nails in the pneumatic nailer. They don't have to be galvanized or anything because it's under the roof, but you want at least three inch. I like three and a quarter the best, but I just happen to have three inch this day. And uh, make sure you nail into a stud if you can. It's always best doing anything on a house to hit a stud, even when you're doing siding or any other fastening inside the house. All right, so let's take a look here. As you can see, we have it nailed into this fascia. And just so you know, the reason why I like to use a two by 10 is you got a nice solid board here that whenever your soffit comes down and butts into here, you got a nice solid piece to nail your fascia that's gonna wrap this eventually, like I showed you at the beginning of the video when it's white. Um, if you look over here, we got on the line and it's nailed off very nicely. So this piece isn't going anywhere. So that's gonna be a nice, strong bird box. So now all we gotta do is measure up to get this point here and then measure over to this point and then just cut this block that fits in here to fills in the rest of this bird box. All right, we got that piece cut. We had six inches on this edge and then 10 and a quarter on this edge. And then all you gotta do is lay a straight edge from this point to this point, make a mark, cut it, and then you have your piece to finish the bird box. When you nail this piece on, I always nail one in the bottom up into the fascia, like you're gonna watch me do right there. And then I put three on the other side. One, two, three, and I always stay an inch or two from that top because there's not much wood and it can break off if you nail it there. All right, here's a close up of the final product. As you can see, this piece turned out really nice. So now you have a place to nail your soffit to. And on this edge here, whenever I do the soffit, now it's gonna be another video, but you put F channel up here 
and then you uh, nail the soffit on the edge of the fascia but that will be explained in another video and then the rest of this will get wrapped in metal and uh, that's going to be the end to the bird box and this is just a rough framing clearly so that's what you got and just to briefly explain you have your soffit going to run down into here it's going to stop at the box and then you got the metal that's going to wrap this and then you got your soffit that's going to continue this way here's what it looks like from the ground and let's do a little walk around this way and you can kind of see under there the sun's darkening it out pretty good but that is all there is to this side as you can see the soffit's just going to run straight across and end right there all right guys that's all i got for you today be sure to subscribe and i hope you learned something i appreciate you watching my channel and i'll see you in the next video peace